No, I'm not gonna stop vlogging. I'm gonna continue vlogging because there's some more adventure to come. Um, but as usually, I'm behind. So for now, the Q&A from Bali. There's the fluffy can. Oh, get up, get out, smile adventure, yeah. You don't need to go far, cause you're already there. All right, I promised to finally record this Q&A. Thank you for your patience. I hope you've been able to submit all your questions. I have some here on my computer. Here we go. What's the one thing that you packed which you couldn't have lived without? And what's the one thing you carried the whole way from home but needed the least? Well, my phone is definitely I get a thing I cannot travel without at the moment. Uh, because it's my GPS. It's my way of communication with home. It's my way of staying sane, finding hotels. Just, I do everything on my phone. I mean, I have my computer. I also really, really need my computer for the vlogs, but I could travel without the vlogs, but I could not travel without my phone. And we all know what the one thing is that I carried the whole way, but did not use that much. And that's my skateboard. But, I'm gonna donate it here in Indonesia so it feels like it still has a purpose. I just need to clean the bearings because they're really, really dirty. Um, George wants to know what are the little yellow straps or tie wraps you have on the handlebars? The little yellow tie wraps are for keeping the hand guards connected to my handlebars because otherwise they're falling off. They're horribly designed and they're plastic so yeah it's can't weld it back together. What major lesson did you gain from your journey? Okay, I know this one. Because I think the biggest one from this less, the biggest thing from this trip is that you can't judge the people of a country by the politicians. You have to see them completely separate. Was the 650cc the right choice or next time would you take a smaller or larger cc bike? I find that an interesting question because I had no idea if what like what bike I should take or if this would be a good adventure bike or I had no idea so I just I bought a 650 and that's what I had and that's what I went on this journey with but looking back and meeting people on bigger and smaller bikes I think on a next adventure I would take a smaller bike somewhere between 250 and 400 cc depending on the on the continent you would go to because for example Australia will have big open roads but also a lot of fun off-roads so you would want to have something like a 250 but for the big open road maybe 400 so yeah 400 I think 400 would be like the perfect the perfect choice all right do you have a cell plan for the whole way or did you change sim cards in different countries I change sim cards in every country uh, because you get local rates and you have a local phone number so locals can call you back which is which is for most arranging stuff really practical how will Zuki go back home on a boat would you like to come ride through Pakistan again yes I would I feel like there's so many pretty valleys and tracks I haven't done would love to go back come back on a smaller bike and do some of the crazy tracks go back to DSI, find some bears, stay up there for a little longer. Uh, yeah, plenty of do, plenty of stuff to do left in Pakistan. Did you find Pakistan a safe country for tourists? Do you recommend others to tour Pakistan? I definitely recommend other, at least overland travelers to go through Pakistan and explore the north. Definitely, I found it safe. I didn't have any trouble. So if a girl alone can travel there, I'm. I'm pretty confident that anybody can travel there. If you had, if you go back and had a chance to rewind, would you change anything? No, I would not change anything because I know 100% sure that at that point in time, this is all I could have done. And yeah, of course, with knowledge now, if I would start a new trip, I would do things differently, but. I didn't have that knowledge then, so with the knowledge I had at that point in time, I did the best I could 
and I wouldn't have to want to. No, I don't want to change anything. Why don't you get your bike over to Australia and finish your great journey there in Oz? Why is Indonesia the end? Two reasons. One, summer in Europe is awesome. I do not want to miss it. I miss my friends, I miss my family, and I just really want to hug them. And two, um, Australia has very strict quarantine rules and in order for me to get Zuki into the country, I need to clean it like it is a new motorcycle. I need to take it apart, clean every single piece with a toothbrush until there's no more dirt, no more dead animals, no more alive animals on the bike, which usually takes people five to seven days full-time cleaning. Then it's just as expensive as shipping it from uh, East Timor to Darwin as it is to ship from home to Darwin and I love Zuki but he's not the best off-road bike I really enjoy off-roading I think Australia has some amazing off-roads so I don't want to ride Australia on Zuki so actually there's three reasons why I'm not coming on to Australia on this trip but maybe there's an extra uh, who is your favorite subscriber? Well, I think my mom answered that pretty correctly. It's my mom, of course. What are your five favorite countries for biking? Last question, guys. Uh, that's easy. Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Pakistan, Thailand, and Indonesia. Which happen to be mostly Muslim countries. But for the riding, it's like perfect. Fun off-road. Yeah. Mostly fun off-road, mountains. I think for riding mountains are just the most fun because then it's when it gets interesting. That's it for now. Um, I think I owe you a happy dance though. <laughs> the cat's looking at me like, what the fuck are you doing? I don't mind with it. Waiting for your love Cause when you give it girl I just can't get enough What's the net next goal guys? 100? 100,000? Let's do it! But I need you You know I need you I need you to share, like, watch, view, everything And um Let's see how long it takes to get to 100,000 I'm excited I'm not gonna stop vlogging anytime soon. Okay guys, that's it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you can plan your next adventure and um, see you guys tomorrow. Bye. A big shout out to my Patreon supporters. You are amazing. If you wanna be in the credits too, go check out my Patreon page.